Hello guys and welcome back to another unboxing video and I have my second Roblox toy first one being an R301 up there um, so this will be my first time opening a mystery pack so I'm not really sure how these work but I noticed on the back of the box see here if you collect like all six of these then you'll be able to make up that character same with these lot make that character if you collect all of those um but to be honest i don't really like any of the other ones here and definitely not that so i won't be collecting them all so yeah the one i have is the star sorority rosalia the spider sorceress that's the one i have uh i don't really play star <laughs> I don't really play Star Sorority. I can't even say it. I don't even play Star Sorority. Um, but I liked, I liked the character. So, yes. Now, it says at the front what's actually included in it. We've got five pieces. We've got the figure, accessories, tips and tricks card. I really don't know what that is. We've got the bonus figure pieces, which will be that. Um, well, a part of that, and then the checklist and exclusive virtual item code. And this is from series one. So, oh, I have scissors here. Okay, let's get this open. And if you enjoy watching me unbox things, then leave a like and a comment and that lets me know that you guys like watching me unbox things oh okay so i've opened it up and i see star sorority on the on the top is this the um tips and tricks card i can't even talk right, i'm gonna get it out oh oh okay that all just slipped out um Okay, yeah, so this is the tips and tricks card. Um, that's what the back looks like. Um, finding hidden coins around the map will reward you with the in-game currency. You can earn even more in-game currency by playing the various mini-games in Star Sorority. Trust the magical portals and secret doors. They can bring you to new magical worlds to explore and roleplay in. And that was created by Prince Star. Okay. Let's get Rosalia out. Oh my gosh. Ah! Everything else just fell out. Come on! <laughs> the legs are really in there! Okay. <laughs> they made like the little indents really <laughs> proper gripped around her legs okay so there she is and we kind of our t-shirts kind of match i guess <laughs> kind kind of matching on the outfit a bit and I've not actually had one of these Roblox figures before. So like I said, this is my second Roblox figure. My first being an R throw one, which if you want to see me unbox that, video will be in the card. Again, I don't remember which side it appears on. <laughs> yeah. I might make a playlist for these, I don't know. Um, okay, so. I'm seeing accessories, the bone, I can literally see through the packages, like you can, you can basically, not much of a mystery, you can see right through the plastic, um, that's, I've got the torso to the, the bonus character, um, I was hoping that I'd get like the helmet or something, but anyway, um, that is, I don't even know what to call that. And then the exclusive item is in there and checklist. Okay. 
let's open up the accessories first because there's actually two things in here. So, where is that? Oh yeah, there is. Okay, so. In that first bag, we have a scepter, which is actually the virtual item that this figure comes with. Because, once again, I can see it right through the packaging. <laughs> and it's like, oh, okay, so there's like a little dent in the scepter that the hand. Okay, there. Nice. And then we've also got a second face. Okay, so that's probably like a human, humanoid face. And then we've got like a spider face. So let me swap that out. <laughs> it's like Lego. I'd compare it to the Five Nights at Freddy's action figures, because you can mix and match them. Well, I don't think it was intentional, but... <laughs> and like, the fact that you can get a bonus character if you collect them all reminds me of the Five Nights at Freddy's figures a lot. Um, okay, let's put the headdress thing back on. There we are. And then, we might as well open this, this is the second bonus character piece. It's just a torso. Not much I can do with it because I don't really have any of the Roblox figures. You can't mix and match the uh, Arthro ones. So like this concept's new to me because the Arthro ones don't mix and match. Um, yeah, I have a torso now. Okay. Oh hey, the lips are poseable. Cool. If you don't like spiders, then you probably shouldn't be watching this video. But there's like a spider ab abdomen. And you can move the leggies. <laughs> oh, that's cool. Okay, and then... Let's try and put that on. Oh no, the head's rolling away. Okay, so the legs just come off, and then you can put... Oh no, I need to move the scepter out of the way. Come on. There we are. It doesn't look like it's gone all, on all the way. There we go. is her spider form and it's got a little bow on the back <laughs> I think I've been in star sorority a few times but I don't remember a spider body so maybe this is more like a Halloween update sort of thing for the game um, yeah that's spans The only game I think I've played where you can like morph into a spider person is Neverland Lagoon. So I don't think they've got that like morph place anymore. I don't really know what's going on with that game anymore though. Oh, and then I think I could put the extra head on on that and oh, I can't put the legs on because it's got like the, oh wait, no I can. Ah yes. <laughs> I have two characters now. <laughs> this almost looks like when you're in Royal High and you decide to take the hairdryer um, into the showers in Campus 2 and you just get electrocuted. Actually, no, that's, that's more like this, ain't it? There you are. <laughs> okay, and then the last thing which is of course the checklist and the code so yeah that scepter thing that she's got is what you get from the code um i'll check if i've got a bonus can you get bonus codes are the bonus codes only an arthro figure sort of thing 
I don't know, but let's have a look at this checklist. Ooh. Okay, so this this is for like all of the current toys. Dungeon Quest, Tower Defense, Vehicle, <laughs> just, just Vehicle, um, Field Trip Z, I've, I've not even like heard of half of these Roblox games, Skate Park, The Rail, Site 76, and then there's like, oh, these are all mystery, okay, those are all mystery boxes, uh, Deluxe Mystery Packs, I mean, out of the mystery packs, I like more of the ones included in the um, bottom set. But there's a centaur, there's a mermaid, um, there's a Robeats character. I actually really liked the virtual item that comes with that one. There's a cyborg at the bottom. Hmm, okay. Anyway, let's check if I have two codes or just one. Uh, okay, no, I just got one code. For anyone who didn't watch my last Roblox toy unboxing, which was for Ninja Moth Guy back there, I ended up getting two codes, which is apparently a rare thing. Um, I, didn't, I didn't know what it was because it was like my first Roblox toy and I didn't know that was a thing. So I had to look it up. Um, but, okay, yeah, I only have one code here and that code will be for the um, scepter, which I shall redeem later because I do actually want the scepter. Okay, so... That's all for the box. So let's have a look at everything we got out of this. Other than a pile of plastic. <laughs> so we got... Ah! Oh no! I just thought they can't swap scepters. I mean, scythes. They're both scythes, aren't they? Yeah. Can't swap them because, like, they the hands are different. That's sad. I mean, actually, wait. Mothguy could hold that scepter. The scythe. Why do I keep calling them scepters? Yeah, he could hold the scythe. He just doesn't hold it by the little grippy bit there. Like that. Um, she can't hold this one, though, because her hands are like wrenches. <laughs> ah. So yeah, out of that pack, we got a figure. Um... A weapon, a pair of legs, a head and a torso. Oh, and then um, a bit of card with some tips and tricks on it. <laughs> I just want to say it is incredibly hard to get like him to just stand there. I've had him standing on like this shelf and that shelf. I've had him sitting on the shelf, like on the edge. Just always falls off. Um, the only place he doesn't actually fall down is next to Pushy. <laughs> Luckily, this one will be able to just stand there. Let's put her on the shelf.
out of spaces to put things. I mean, yeah, I've got like this whole shelf just of random... Oh no, that's kind of broken. Ooh. Um, random bits, I guess. But that's going to be filled up with comic books very soon. I'll just put it there for now. There we are. She can go there. In the box. Oh, I, I don't know what I'll do with the box. I'm, I'm a, I, I'm one of those who keeps boxes for everything. Like I still have, um, <laughs> I mean, I'm keeping this bit because it's got my name on it, but <laughs> I, I don't know. I, yeah, I, I don't know. Well, that has been me unboxing a Roblox toy. Once again, if you enjoy watching these sort of videos from me, let me know in the comments and with the like button as well. Um, this isn't actually a table. <laughs> See you in the next video, hopefully. Thanks for watching and I'll see you next time. Bye.